Hi, I'm Charles Ellison, Civil 3D designer and trainer at AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com. Today we'll be looking at importing survey data in Civil 3D 2020. When we import data from the field, we have two options. We can import the data directly into the drawing, but others working on the project won't have access to it. However, if we import the data into a survey database on a network, then we can share it with others working on the project. Let's take a look at how we can import survey data. You can always import points by clicking on the Insert tab, and you can insert points directly into the drawing using the option to insert points from a file. This creates points from an external ASCII file and it imports them directly into the drawing as opposed to using the database. There's also an option to import points from an external file into the drawing using the Import Survey Data button on the Insert tab. We'll be focusing on this method of importing data in order to bring these points into a survey database. When I choose this option, it's going to walk me through a wizard to import the data into the survey database. Typically, anytime you see the word survey in front of the functions in Civil 3D, chances are you're working with data in the database. Remember, when we're editing a survey point, we're adjusting values in the survey database, not just the drawing we're in. Let's cancel out of this and create our new local survey database in a different way. Go ahead and click on the Survey tab in your Toolspace palette and right click on Survey Databases. Click Set Working Folder. Now this will be the directory that will contain our database. Most databases will have the working folder set to a project directory on a company network. If you put a survey database on your local hard drive, it won't be accessible to others who might be working on the project. So for demonstration purposes, we'll be setting our working folder to a directory on my local hard drive. Click Select Folder. Next, let's right click again on the survey database and select Create New Local Survey Database. We're going to name this database Civil 3D Example. Click OK. Now there's some survey database settings and some defaults that again are coming into play from the survey user settings here. Let's open up the survey database settings and see what we can edit. Go ahead and right click on our database and choose Edit Survey Database Settings. First off, notice that the survey database has its own coordinate zone and system. Remember, we're not working with a drawing, we're working with the database. The database will store everything on its own coordinate system and other values. When we import data, it'll handle the translation for you. So we're going to go ahead and set this coordinate system. Go ahead and click this button. And then our project is in Georgia. So right under Categories, click this drop-down menu and go to USA Georgia. Now the coordinate system is NAD 83 West Zone to the US foot. So we'll go ahead and select that here. NAD 83 Georgia State Plain West Zone US foot. Then I click OK. When I do that you'll see that the distance is automatically set to US foot and it's grayed out because it's part of this coordinate system. If you want, you can always leave the coordinate system blank 
but make sure that the distance is set to US foot. And again, the translation would be fine. Now there's a few other values and settings that you can set here and you can choose to create somewhat of a settings template to import or export those settings for future use. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So now our survey database is created and ready to have data added to it. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.